Welcome back ladies and gents. Here we have another quick unboxing and review. This is the Super 7 Ultimates Lord Zed unboxing and we're going to just jump right into it. Uh, I've been waiting for this piece for a while and here quickly pretty much similar to the other boxes of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, Super 7 Ultimates collection. And this is the Lord Zed. Here pretty much is the same as the other boxes. We got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in the back. And then once we remove the cover, here we have the one and only Lord Zed. So here, as we can see, we have a bunch of his um, little grenade bombs where he makes, you know, his monsters grow. If you guys know the series. Here he has about, I see so far, three. We have one, two, and three. And then we have helmets, let's just say. Because he, you know, he this is all he wears in the series. He wears his helmet. Um, so this one, it looks like this helmet has the red visor. It's more red than the one that he has on currently. But I hear a lot that there's not that much of a difference of these two helmets pretty much the same besides the extra red visor part here and that's when he gets you know really upset and it turns extra red and then we have here in the bottom a bunch of different hand gestures and then we have his snake if you guys remember the first episode when lord zed shows up at uh rita's uh palace house uh which becomes his uh mansion now and basically the snake turns into the Lord Zed staff, which is right here, the big Z. Um, and I don't think he has any other um, accessories in the box, but enough talking. Let's just get right into it. Open it up. Pretty cool. And let me mention one more thing in the back. It just gives you a little uh, definition on who Lord Zed is. If you guys want to pause the video and just read um, if you can and then this is a old school lord zed photo from um, the series all right now it's time to open what's in the box all right so we're back so now we're gonna start off with all the eight thousand hand gestures that they sent us so as you can see there are so many there's one two three four four pairs and the one that he has on so there's a bunch here hands open fingers pointing fist and more hands opening um so there's a bunch there it's pretty cool that's one thing with super seven ultimates that they do give so many accessories also we have three of his little bombs here he throws to make his uh, makes his monsters grow they look pretty much the same so that's cool that they give you three of those thank you super seven this is the one of the helmets so he has he came with one on and then this is the other one this is the one with the visor that is extra red so i'm probably going to end up using this so the super detail and I'm gonna compare this with the Lightning Collection uh, Lord Zed, so you guys can see the minor details and uh, also the height size. All right, so that's that. And then his shiny metallic staff. Look how big that is and how shiny it is. Pretty cool, right? Lord Zed, baby. I'm not gonna lie, this is the best lord zed action figure ever because here he is now look how brolic and amazing this figure looks look at this I'm trying to see if i can get every single detail so here i changed the uh, one of the hand gestures so this one he's pointing this one, I'm actually going to put the staff on so you guys can see how tall the staff is. As you can see, there's a staff 
He's owning his staff. Look at look how amazing that looks. Just get a little cool pose there. So guys, a few things. And I said this part already. Amazing action figure. Um, I'll get more into it now. So this uh the material of Lord Zed compared to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Super 7 Ultimates version. It's plastic. It's similar to, well, let's just say it's the same kind of material as the Hasbro um, figure. Like that hard plastic. Um, it's like, I, I wish all the rest of the figures were this material because the ones that the mighty Morphin power rangers they're painted so now you can do some articulations with those if you see in my uh, reviews on those on my channel you can see that i get into it a little bit with the paint and the action figure uh, if you're doing a lot of poses some of the paint may chip off which is unfortunate this is why I do have most of them and I just have them as like a sh simple pose and I just have them for show because um, I'm using uh, my lightning collection uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers to do a bunch of other stuff but those are just for display but the Lord Zed I wish the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers were this same style like it's hard plastic and there's no like paint that chips or anything like that it's like the, I mean, you guys know if you have this Lord Zed from the Lightning Collection, it's pretty much the same as the Super 7 Ultimates version. And you can see the height difference. Pretty big, right? This is 7 inches and then this is 6 inches. Um, as you can see, the Super 7's version color is a little bit more light red and then the lightning collection is a bit darker which i totally prefer this one here obviously because it just looks more show accurate and then we can let me put the staff on the lightning collection version real quick so here you have both of them so i see minor detail differences which is a little bit weird, but it's still cool. I still think that the bigger version is way better, but there is a little bit more shadowing and detail on the Lightning Collection version. Uh, more like muscles and stuff on the legs and then the chest compared to the Super 7 one. Pretty straightforward, uh, nothing crazy. Um, let me see the back. The back looks like his underwear, if you want to call it that, is more bigger. It's covering his butt cheeks a little bit more than this one, as you can see. Um, let me see what else. I think everything pretty much in the back. Well, here, this spine silverness here is going on to his uh, underwear. Here is not. Um, I mean, nothing too crazy. Everything else is just pretty much straightforward. Again, if this version, a hundred percent perfect figure, if this version had all the details, like look at his six pack from the lightning collection. You see with the shadowing makes it look more real and the detail compared to the Super 7's one. As you can see, it's just not that much detail compared to this one. Like this one, he's really ripped. And that's how I feel like the show, that's how he had it. It's not the end of the world. Um, so yeah, if we can just combine these two, forget it. Best Lord Zed um, action figure ever. And don't get me wrong. Right now, this is the perfect height, perfect articulations. We can see it's pretty much same to the lightning collection. There's no paint chipping or anything. Legs, you know, articulate, arms. From what I'm gonna be doing, I don't need for him to articulate like really crazy. His, um, I don't know what you call these. His 
blood supplying strings here. These are, the, I feel like they're a bit too loose. They're like all over the place compared to this one, which is fine. It makes it look more crazier. So, I mean, I'm fine with that. Uh, you can always fix it and move it around if you need to, just so it won't look too like crazy looking. But, but here you have both Lord Zets. I'm loving the staff. Super shiny, tall. It just looks like really, really much of a badass. That's all I can say. And then now let's see. So I put this um, hand gesture when he's pointing because he tends to do that a lot, right? And then the head sculpts are, let me try to get this so you guys can see. The one that I have on my hand here is just, you can see the difference, right? With the visor is more red this one and everything else is pretty much the same helmet right that's the only difference i think the teeth are the same as well there's nothing different about that see so yeah so i'll be changing that an interesting part here with the snake for lord zet i don't know if i'm gonna use this though like oh this will make some more sense but then the snake turns in, turns into the staff in the show. So it's like, you know, but it's pretty cool. You can post them up like that, even though he has the staff there. I put a cool fire effect. I took it from the lightning collection. So I put it on his, it looks pretty cool, right? Look at the snake. It's a pretty cool little accessory that they added. Um, attention to detail, you know, it was part of, uh, I think it was one episode from what I remember growing up. So looks pretty good. Not bad, right? Oops. Don't get tangled with the original Lord Zet. All right. So that pretty much does it for this quick unboxing. If they merge these two action figures here, it would be totally the perfect Lord Zet. But I'm really happy with the Super 7 uh, Ultimates line, especially with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It is amazing and I can't wait to put it um, on my displays and then I'll throw some videos at my social media. Um, I'll put the links down below so you guys can uh, follow me on all the platforms. I think that pretty much does it for the Lord Zed video. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like this video, don't forget to comment and give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So like that, you guys stay posted. Also click on that notification bell. So you guys are notified when I post new videos, because I have a bunch more coming soon. Next, I'll be unboxing the blue Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, and then I'll be unboxing Zack the Black Ranger. I'm almost done, guys, with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers line. This was it. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Ariel Diaz. Peace. Bye, guys. Lord Zed says peace, too. Oops.